the biggest tool that I took out of the pain management course was that I'm actually not alone. Hello, I'm Anita Pather and I've been living with, or diagnosed actually, with fibromyalgia and lupus disease for the last two years. I wasn't completely familiar with what I now needed to do. You know, they, they were throwing words at me that I didn't understand and feeling extremely sorry for myself and loads of pity. The more pity I felt, the more depressed I felt, the more stressed I felt, the more inadequate I felt. And all of those play such a huge role in your pain. Somebody suggested to me, try the pain clinic. And I thought to myself, what can they tell me that I don't know about my pain? Lo and behold, the things that I learned, I've still been implementing it on my daily basis, especially mindfulness. You slow your heart rate down. You talk to yourself. You see the good in little things like a flower or you look at the sky. Once you are calm, you can manage it better. You then know what to do. But once you're chasing your tail, everything falls apart. The biggest tool that I took out of the pain management course was that I'm actually not alone. There's so many other people going through exactly what I'm going through, just on a different basis. And I didn't know what I had, so I couldn't manage what I didn't know. Now that I know what my diagnosis is, I can now work towards helping myself. And with attending the pain management clinic, I was given the tools and I can go back to it. And the support that I received from it has been phenomenal. My experience with OT, um, I found it so useful in terms of my adaptations. So what you pull out of it is how to manage time, conserve energy. For instance, I found somebody that would clean and cut my onions. Now it sounds like a simple thing. However, it has saved me a good couple of hours of cleaning and chopping these certain days that my hands don't work, so I can't do these things. Pain is not normal. Pain, we are not supposed to go through pain. So if you're feeling as if something is not right, follow your instincts. Get a diagnosis. There's a situation in your body that is not supposed to be there. Get yourself on the right path. Seek the proper advice. Get yourself into a program that can teach you how to manage it. Because it's not the beginning and the end of all. You can do this. You can manage it and life does go on and it can still be beautiful.